Dear Vortex, I've had misgivings about doing this because I really hate putting myself out there. It scares the living hell out of me. I get really nervous with the idea of people knowing who I am and wanting anything whatsoever to do with me, but I realize that I'm supposed to do this. What I'm doing on YouTube and what I'm doing with stand-up comedy is what I'm supposed to do with my life, which is why I've spent so much time running away from it. I, um... I wish I could put to words everything that I've been thinking my entire life, but... I do that with comedy, I do that with my art. I just have so many words, you know? It's frustrating for me because I have too many thoughts and too many ideas and too many opinions and they're all really offensive. And I was thinking about all the jobs that I've either lost or had to resign from because of my mouth and my opinions and my inflammatory comments that I didn't even mean to be inflammatory, but were taken that way because everybody's an overly sensitive candy ass that should have slit their wrist 20 years ago. But, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. I made this playlist for Nicholas Fuentes, but I'm not going to go on Twitter because it's against my principles. I don't, um... I just realized... I look really scary from that angle. Um, <laughs> like really scary, it was like freaking me out. I was like, who is that? Um, but um, yeah, I, I did this playlist because he, he wants some sort of like white boy playlist or something. And uh, I just randomly came up with a playlist because I used to do that all the time. I used to make mixtapes back in the day. And then I made make CDs, but it just wasn't the same as making a mixtape because of how much time and dedication you have to put towards a mixtape. I used to think I was going to be a DJ, but um, alas, I'm just a crazy person that collects an overzealous amount of CDs. Um, I just spent over $300 on more CDs. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just made this playlist. And if there are any courier pigeons in the vortex that could send him this, because I'm not going on Twitter. I refuse to go on Twitter. I refuse to do it their way. Fuck their way. Their way is death. Okay? But if any of you guys could send this to him, that would be cool. Because this playlist is really good. I know it is, because... I'm a, I've got bona fide taste in music since I used to be a liberal. Um, like I said, that's all they have to offer. But anyway, I, uh, I just wanted to do that little shout out. I, I don't really like to... Um, I don't, I don't like social media. I think it's terrible. The only reason I do the channel is because I want people to know that they don't have to take medication in order to deal with a personality disorder. They don't have to do what they're told to do in order to like deal with schizophrenia. They could just like learn how to manage it on their own. And if they did that, they would have a lot more confidence. And Oh, in the Bible. They could read the Bible. That's like the only self-help book there is. They could do that, but, you know, I realize that a lot of people that have, like, severe mental illness are thwarted by the modern world to do modern world stuff that doesn't make a lick of sense. Uh, so that's why I do art. That's why I do stand-up comedy. That's why I um, just continue to say stuff that offends people and have to revi resign from jobs because of it. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, that just happened. Luckily, I have another job that's a restaurant job, so I can say whatever the hell I want over there. Shut the fuck up. I don't care. 
You think that I care, but I don't. Cats. Anyway. Ugh. I have a tendency to ramble on and on because once I start talking, I can't stop. It's really annoying. I just wish I could shut the fuck up. Then again, I wish the country could do that too, but they, they just keep saying the same stuff over and over again, and that doesn't make a lick of sense either. I promise I make way more sense than my country. Um, but anyway, I really support Nick, though. I really support him. Um, I think that what he's doing, he's, he's a fisher of men. He's a fisher of men, and that's really cool. Um, I don't want people to think that I'm trying to, to join his little groiper sausage fest because that's, that's a boys club, okay? Amy Gross is trying to be fishers of women. And uh, if we can get a homosexual man, that would be cool too. We already have. So, um, you know, we try to have some hope wherever it's possible to have some hope. But anyway, um, yeah, just send this to him if you would. I'm going to uh, put the list of songs and the, um, the, the, whatever you call it, my, the description, where I usually include my director's commentary. If you guys read that or pay attention to that, you probably don't. Um, but yes, we do that. We always include a director's commentary because we are the director, because we're not writing any of this. This is completely unscripted, unedited, real shit.